Understanding wine is a challenge, and no matter how little or how much you know, it's a never-ending process of learning. And we know it's a humbling experience. But with a few key tips, you're on your way to sounding and being a wine pro. It's time to understand the difference between acidity and tannins. We invite you to watch along and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more. You've heard someone say it. I love high acid wines. Or perhaps you've heard, I love a big tannic wine. But what exactly do they mean? What is acidity in wine and how does one taste it? And what are tannins? We are here to break it down for you. Acidity and tannins are two of the four main characteristics of wine. The other two, alcohol and sweetness. Acidity gives wine its tart and sour taste. The common types of acid are tartaric acid, malic acid, and citric acid. Think about a lemon or lemonade and the puckery sensation you think of. That's acidity. Acidity in wine will tingle on your tongue. Another sign of acidity is if your mouth begins to salivate. A wine with high acid will usually taste crisper and more tart on the palate, and a low acid wine will feel smoother and rounder on the palate. Where does acidity come from? When grapes are not ripe, they have high acidity. The acidity decreases as they ripen and the sweetness increases. Cool climate regions or regions that have cool nights result in grapes that keep their acidity. The ideal is to pick the grapes when they are perfectly sweet, ripe, and still have acidity. When working with acidity, you'll notice that sweetness, saltiness, and fat balance the sour taste of acidity. This is why champagne and french fries are so good together. If you think of some of the great sweet wines such as Sauterne and Riesling, they also have lots of acidity, and it's the sweetness and the acidity that balance each other. Acidity provides some of the backbone needed for long-term aging, so high acid wines are also more likely to improve with time. Tannins refers to the dryness, bitterness, and astringency of wine, most often red wines. The tannins in a wine are similar to when you eat a green banana or oversoak a tea bag. They leave a drying sensation on the palate. Tannins are also responsible for giving red wines that body. Tannins can also offer texture and mouthfeel from soft and silky to aggressive and grainy. So where do tannins come from? Well, they come from the skins, the stems, the seeds of the grapes that are used to produce the wine. Tannins can also come from the oak barrels that are used to age wines. Tannins help provide texture, balance, and structure to wine. Wines with high levels of tannins can age for decades. Highly tannic wines, more often than not, are better with food than on their own. Think of fatty cuts of meat and rich, earthy flavors, which help to balance and soften the astringency from tannins. So now you know the difference between acids and tannins in wines. If you're going to pull out those french fries, get a high acid wine. If you're going to cook a steak, get a big tannic wine. Do you have a preference? Do you like one or the other or both? I think we like it all. I think we do. We hope you enjoyed this video. Have a little more clarity on acid and tannins, and we invite you to subscribe to our channel so you do not miss another wine tip. Cheers. Cheers.